you make of this weather, Eric? Man, the ground's all slippery, I know. I nearly went my arse there. Oh, it's a pair of these you're wanting. Permagrip soles, Timpsons, 1999. Is that right? Ah, uh, you've got to take care of yourself at her age, you know. Come <laughs> here. <laughs> 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 Jesus, he's all right. What's your feet, Jack? It's slippy. <laughs> it's a pair of these you're wanting. Permagrip, 1999. Pull them out of <laughs> Oh, that boy at Timpson's getting kicked squarely in the nuts. Former Q. <laughs> Keeper. Here, yeah, hold on a minute. Who's that for? Hey, oh, well, in Apera. I feel that bad, I know. I promised I'd got last Thursday. He's not been keeping that well either. Oh, well, can we? Ah, right, oh, aye. Uh, oh. Yeah. Eric. There you are, Eric, son. Aye, ah, come on, give us your horn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, mate. Right. I'll have uh, that one and that one. Both of them? That's what I said, yes, the both of them. What do you want both of them for? Oh, what age are you? Where do you live? What shoe size are you? Where were you in the night of the 15th? Just give me the fires, nosy. <laughs> Come on, don't you call to listen to half past the day. Close your bastard! Close your bastard! Come on! That was lucky, Isaac. Three for fourteen. Uh, no, we're uh, eight the day. Oh, you going to visit Willie Napier? Yes, Isaac, that's right. Lovely man. He's going downhill very quick since he lost his wife. That's right, Isaac, downhill. Is that you taking him a wee broom loaf? Certainly would appear so, Isaac. <laughs> You're crusty. Very nice. Isaac, for fuck! That says it number eight, though. <laughs> Look at this. It's like Annika's bidding. I know. Is that lazy, dirty, smelly Frankie bastard in there, eh? I can do Monday to see Willie and there was an engine out of transit van line there pushing its shite all over the floor. A bloody disgrace. He's no handsome. he would be lying deed. Shut up, I'll try again. Hi. He'd be lying dead, stiff and blue, eyes staring, pointing at you. Jack, where have you been, Jack? I've been dead since last Thursday. You killed me. Where's my broom load? Shut up, you're twisting my melon. Oh, you were waiting and scout, and I'll wait here. Aye, watch me. Come on. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. 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 see, shall we? No Quincy, Jack. But I'd say he was D die. What did we do? Phone the fuzz. Oh, phone his boy. Oh, I don't like that. That's bad news to give anybody that. Eh, hey, your father's did. There'll be tears. What are you talking about? You'll no bother his arse. Look at the nick of Willie. When do you suppose the boy was last up, Jack? Ah, right enough. It's deed. He must have died. Then they cut his phone off because he didn't pay his bill. Because he couldn't. Because he was dead. Very good, Colombo. Let's go. Where is it we're gone? We're going to ask Manky Frankie next door if we can use his phone. 
Good old bastard, eh? He didn't deserve this. Another good man down. <laughs> Here they are, Willie. We'll uh, see ourselves out. Are you's wanting? Yeah, Willie's dead. Who's Willie? Yeah, next door neighbour. And what? Uh, well, uh, we are wondering if we could use your phone because his phone's no working and we have to phone his boy. Right. <laughs> phone's there. He's fish and chip papers. Aye. Jeez. Oh, Must be a hundred wrappers lying there. You must love your fish and chips. That's right. Aye, good. <laughs> Paper your call. It keeps the bill small. Uh, aye, aye, we, we can read. <laughs> That's a smashing thing that. Where would you get a thing like that? Mary Hill Shopping Centre. Oh, uh, smashing. Hey, nice smashing. Hello, Michael. Yes, it's Jack. Yes, yes, your father's pal. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm fine, yes. I'm fi a wee bit of a cold last week. Uh -huh. Aye, not too bad. A cold snap right enough. Uh -huh. Hey, oh, Victor. Uh -huh. Victor's fine, aye. Aye, you know Victor, aye. I'm across the landing from him now, aye. Eh? Hey? Oh, no. No, I didn't bother going there in the end. I was only telling you, aye. Aye, well, I thought Willie well, would have told you. But... Your dad's deed. You better <laughs> come up. <laughs> he's a cert. No. He's heading right for it. No, he's going to miss it. 20p. Get on. <laughs> <laughs> Right on his ass. <laughs> hey, Sixty pence up. Hot chocolate. Oh, aye, aye. What are you freezing in here? I mean, the thing's ridiculous. How are you supposed to get a heat in you with a bloody pension to give you? <laughs> I know. Millions the government spends on advertising and pamphlets telling you what, eh? <laughs> Put on a cardigan. <laughs> That's right, what is it to say? Keep yourself warm this winter. Don't squander your money on frivolous things like food. <laughs> or clays. Aye, or medicine. Scrimp and save every heaping you've got and give it to the electricity board. <laughs> I mean, to hell with that, Victor, eh? No. You don't even know what I'm going to say. Aye, Eddie. We're not putting the fire on. Come on, boy. One or three bars. No chance, Jack. Two bars. <laughs> Have you any idea at all, eh? What that bastard burns? Where's the point of having a good fire if you've never got it on? Put the bulb on then, that suggests warmth. <laughs> no, that suggests you are a tight arsed old bastard. Well, the way into your own house and get a heat then. You know, fine, I've no go to fire. Oh, aye. What is it you've got again? An electric fan heater thing. And it's never on? Well, do you blame me? It's a gutsy bastard. It's nothing but an ornament. <laughs> oh, aye. We're humped right enough, eh? Of course, you know what's going to happen to us, didn't you? What? Well, we're going to end up in the same nick as old Willie. Sitting here with these cups welded to our hands with the frost, 
Two mere statistics, cause you'll no burn that bloody fire. Oh, here they come, Abbott and Costello. You're putting the beef on, Jack. Ah, uh, that's right. Every time I shag your wife, she makes me a sandwich. <laughs> There's Pete Kane. Oh. He was pally with Wally, you know. Oh, that's, that's I suppose I should tell him, eh? Right. Pete! Aye? Bit of bad news for you, fella. What is it? Wally's away. The cold got him. Oh, Napier's gone. Who had Napier? Yes! Three to one. <laughs> 60 points. Nice one, Bobby boy. Good call now. What's happening here? Oh, it's hyperthermia sweepstake. <laughs> We're taking bets on who's gone next. What? Have you lost your mind? Don't you get sanctimonious with us, Victor McDeed. It comes to us all. Aye, but at least we're not sitting in a bloody ticket waiting on somebody to die. Look at you sitting there. Eric, how long did you work with Willie? Thirty year. Aye. Aye, and you, you rats. That money should be going towards that man's funeral. You should be bloody ashamed of yourself. Call yourself a community here, taking bets in the death derby. And Scots across the country are preparing for the coldest front since 1972, with temperatures set to drop to as much as minus 12 in many parts of the west of Scotland. Social services are advising mothers with young children and the elderly to remain indoors unless absolutely necessary. Well, that's the odds slashed across the board. We have a new favourite, old Eric, 21, and a count of these steel pins in his knee. Oh, that'll be right. That's a wasted bet. I've got yeah. double blaze. Morbid bloody sweepstake the terms on another clansman. That bastard. Nah, he's a bastard. You wouldn't give me any more than 3 to 1 on Jeannie Shaw. <laughs> no, you <laughs> know. I'll clean up. We're all headed that way as well. We make it interesting. Mm -hmm. Jeez, oh. Oof. So the bloody Belgian Congo in here was it's magic, isn't it? Yeah, well, I didn't get my coat off. I'm bloody sweltering here. Aye. Right, come on, way through. Oh, mind your legs there. Aye, oh, What's the story? What do you mean? You've got three in a bedroom. Aye, and three in a the hall there. Six in here? That's it. Twelve bars of sweetness all blaring away. What's going on? No, no. I've got three in the kitchen and three in the cludgy as well. That's eighteen bars in total. Spill it. I can't tell you. I've sworn. Get it dealt, Winston. Well, I could tell you, but... I'd be incriminating myself and by association yourselves. Well, for God's sake, will you tell us before we pass out? <laughs> right. Come with me. <coughs> right. Do you notice anything odd about that meter? Eh, uh, no. It's the same as mine. I'll take a closer look. <laughs> oh. The wheel isn't going to run. For I have intervened and impeded the progress of said wheel. Now, observe. Watch what happens when I do this. <laughs> Jesus. Did you look at the speed of that. That would cut diamonds out. That's like a sawmill, Winston. I could have your horn off. I know. Terrifying, isn't it? Now, if I was to let that run, I'd be potless and in the gutter by Thursday. Oh, well, aye, you would, aye. However, with this device, gentlemen, I, Winston, am King of Lecky. <laughs> That's got to be a good thing, oh yes. <laughs> it's all well and good, Winston, but you know what it makes you? What would that be? A thief, 
A rat thief. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, now, Victor, that's not entirely fair. No. That's how come electricity is so expensive, you see, with the likes of him stealing it, you know what I mean? I'll not be party to this. Mon Jack. No. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry, Victor, I'm with Winston on this one. I'm on a slice of this action. Very well, Jack. You're a grown man. You've made your decision. But consider this, eh? You're worn new. But how's it going to be in a wee stony jail cell, eh? With nothing to heat you up but a hot bobby. Right up your ass! Get <laughs> <laughs> right. Get up your bobby heat once. Ah, well, I will. you two back to your ice boxes with your principles intact. And we're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, it would cut the face up, yeah? Why? Smashing out at Winston's, though, isn't it? Aye, but crime doesn't pay, Jack. No, but that warms you up, but didn't you? <laughs> Aye. Oh, hello there, Derek. Oh, how's your grandfather? Is he still laid up in bed, is he? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> but my mummy bought him an electric blanket. Doctor says he should be up in the boot in a couple of days. Oh, aye. Well, that's good. <laughs> Two ounces of drum, if you please, Naveed. How you keeping, Naveed? Ah, no bad. It's a warm in here, Naveed. Aye. aye. <laughs> that's good. Aye, two lucky donkeys, I spare. Two donkeys? Aye, but that look in his eye, didn't he? Aye, that sort of look to see I'm getting free likey using a couple of wankers for paying out for it. <laughs> I'm going to chuck the lucky donkeys. Eh? Aye. What else would you do? Either they picking a pokes or try it. Oh, aye. Close the door, you're letting the call down. Aye, sorry. Thank you. Frank? Tony. Ollie. Hey, Ollie. Three thirty at Chepstow, Captain Howdy. Each way. Each way, aye. It's a warm in here, Tracy. Think so. Stevie. Aye. Do you feel it warm in here? Not overly, no. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting a fear. Aye, well, I'm keeping out of that bookies. That was well creepy. Aye. It was like invasion of the body snatchers, did not it? Well, you're Tam now. Oh, hi, Tam. Oh, Jack, Victor. Mind if we join you, Tam? Oh, sit down. Well, where have you been? Bookies. You've been in the bookies today, Tam? Aye, yeah, this morning. How? Did you notice anything strange about it? No. How? The heat. You didn't notice the heat? No. Nope. You could not have failed to notice the heat, it was smashing. <laughs> yeah, it was too warm, it was too warm in the bookies. Was it? What's in the bag, Tam? An electric fan heater. No, I've got one of them. They burn a fortune, they things. Do they? <laughs> That doesn't make it right, Bud Jack. Right, that's you. Get the heating on. Thanks. Where's she? What the hell are you doing here? Serving the community. Mere thieving, you dafty. Hey, hey, you're the dafties here. How? Well, I'll tell you how. We work all days, right? And for what? To sit freezing, eh? Wondering if the phone's gonna ring. Not allowed to burn a bar in your fire waiting for the reaper. 
A ball here away for eating dog food. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it is that bad. The government want us to die. They expect us to die. Tony Blair's like that. Come here, you, my wee government lackey. How many old bastards died last night? <laughs> Fifteen hundred. Oh, smashing. That'll free up some housing stock. <laughs> you know what us pensioners are? We're lepers. We take, 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 and we gain nothing back, and they hate us for it. They can't wait to bury us. Ah, that's right, he's right, he's right. You know, you're a pair of silly bastards. You know, you're even money in the hypothermia sweepstake. <laughs> hey, that's right. Because you won't take three lecky. Even money. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You know who else is even money? Who? Old Pete. The JK. That's right. Drank his hoose, wife, wains, duck the lot. Lives outside, even money. I'm no having my odds the same as that, smelly bastard. That's a brass neck. Right, I'm in. What the hell are you saying? I'm in. I gee up. I want free lucky. Hook me up, Winston. I'm just going to take to get my kitchen out. Half an hour I'll take you. Yeah. you done, eh? Jack! You think about this! Think about what you're doing! I have thought about it. I don't know about you, Victor, but I quite fancy the mad notion of surviving the winter. Aye, get him to help, Jack. Aye. You shut your hole, your foot pad. You're only bringing him down to your own level. He's no bringing me down anywhere. I've made my mind up, Victor. See you later. You'll not see me later. I don't hang about with the, 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 the underworld. Arsehole. Prick. <laughs> Nice lolly. Silly old bastard. Show him a bit of bloody respect, will you? You're not budging up, no. Look at you two, eh? The goose thieves. Now, what are you up to? You're planning your next heist, are you? Eh? What is it, the church silver? How are things in Frosty Towers? Adequate. <laughs> Ample, yes, thank you. Feeling it warm, are you, Victor? I am, I. Mm. You might be interested to know that Father Graham has availed himself of my services. <laughs> it would appear that the good Lord himself likes it toasty. <laughs> Victor. 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 Jack. What time is it? Time you got a bloody heat in you. Come on, feel your face, you're freezing. Ah, oh, come on, right. Come on, you gap. Up. up you get. That's early. Hook me up. <laughs> That's a boy. Thing, eh? I know, I know. My daft old bugger. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention this, but. Uh, what? I had a dream about old Willie last night. What happened? Well, he was wearing a shroud and his face was all that blue colour, you know. It was like iced water, you know, and his, his eyes were all yellow. I <laughs> always did have yellow eyes, didn't he, old Willie? Aye. So the booze he drank, sure. Anyway, he comes to me in this dream and he takes me by the hand, you see. His eyes were freezing. And he starts leading me up this beautiful staircase. Goes on for miles. Nay, Bannister. No. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking from side to side and there doesn't seem to be an end to the stairs, you see. Well, eventually we get to the top. And the thing is, I'm not puffed out. I feel fine, you know. That's when he points. Exactly the same way he was pointing when we found him in a flat, you see. And he's pointing to a coffin. I'm looking at it and it's, 
It's an old coffin, you know, and it's all on musty way. The lid's down, you know, but it looked as if it'd just been dug up. Aye, aye. Exhumed. I exhumed. I'm fear, you know. But he tightens his grip. He's pulling me closer and he's pulling me forward, you know, and he's bending down. Of course, the lid's shut. But no any more because he's starting to open the lids, you see. And I look down on the right mess, you know, and I, then I see it, you know. There it is, staring right back at me. The body of... That's all right. That happens sometimes. I just about shot myself there. Jesus! What the hell are you doing? Get a move on, Winston. Just give me a minute. There you are now. Welcome to the FEC, the Free Electricity Club. Gather round for the ceremonial switching on of the fire. <laughs> How does it feel? Feels pretty good, eh? Oh, aye, aye, it feels good, aye. Well, switch it on. Eh, right. One bar. One bar's plenty. Victor, it's gratis. Get the three bloody bars on. Ah, there we are. Oh, that's rare. I can't mind the last time I had the three bars on. Ah, you can smell the steward burning. Hey. I'm going to put the free kettle on. Aye. Free hot water. Free tea. Ho <laughs> ho. What else can we turn on? Ah, you're getting the hang of it now. The telly. I suppose that's the beauty of it, eh? There's so many people in the scheme that they'll never know who's stealing it. It's nice to get that cold air round about you, eh? This is a break from that oven of a flat. Uh, that's Mary Wilson. Aye, uh, old wiggit. You ain't saying that. It's no a bloody wig. She's baldy. Of course it's a wig. It's like a hat. It's no a wig. <laughs> <laughs> is a wig great enough? <laughs> Here, you never told me who was lying in the coffin. Eh? That dream you had with Willie. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Aye, well, the coffin lid opened. And there it was, the body of Jack Lord. Funny that, isn't it? Who's Jack Lord? Cop, the way 5 -0. Oh. Is he dead? I don't know. 